there is a kind of man that can make the rainfall everybody is not in the class to make the rainfall don't be quick to pursue titles can you carry God before a man can become a man that will bring down the rain the man will operate by two instructions the first instruction God gives to a man that can call rain is go and hide yourself any man that God cannot hide God cannot promote the number two instruction that God gives to a man that will bring the rain is go and show yourself any man that God will raise God will hide Hiding does not mean being useless. Hiding means being prepared. Hiding doesn't mean wasting away, doing nothing. Hiding means being in a place where God is cooking you. Exposure kills faster than any other thing. Please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. But he that cometh to him he that cometh to God must believe that he is, he is what? Must believe that he is, he is what? And that he is a, no, no, the first he is, is that he must believe that he exists, that he is real. He is real. You see, the problem with us is that our relationship with God is abstract. Are you with me? You know, yesterday we were talking about depression in church, and I need to reiterate the fact that God loves me. Somebody say, God loves me. Say, He cares about me. I, I was trying to explain to them that God loves you, and then to some people, God loving you looks like it is not real. Like, ah, God is far. The way I can touch him and he can feel me, that's the same way God is. He is. Someone say he is. He's alive. He's around. He's, you see? Okay. How many of you have been in a relationship before? Or you are currently in a relationship? Raise up your hand. Don't pretend. You have been in love before or you are currently in love? Rachel, you are in love, right? Have I seen you this year? Your face is very scarce. So you are in love. If your lover send you a text message, what happens to your heart? It's not there. It's not there. He just sent you a text. What happens to your heart? Pastor Bobby, come to the front. Come, come. What happens to your heart? Your heart just do mush, 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 mush. Is that... Is that what happened to you? Okay. It's not there, but his text message affects your heart. You just start smiling. How much more when you read God's word? God's word is God's love letter to you. Are you with me? The reason why God's word is not doing you is because God is not ease to you. The reason why God's word is not exciting you the way a love message from, a, from your guy affects you is because God is not real to you. He got God up there. God is God up there. God is God that is existing. Many of you think you know God, but you don't know him in reality. When last did you feel God around you? When last did you see God as God is here? When last did you see God as, God is with me, God is here. He is. Before we enter, he is a rewarder. We must come to terms with the fact that he is. He is alive. He is with me. He is real. If there is anything I want us to trust God for this year, his ability to accept that God is here. God is with me. God is real. God is real. He is. God is not
not abstract. It's not one far God. You know, I, I told you some days ago, I said, God speaks to me daily, and I speak to him daily. People are like, eh? I said, yes. When I pray, I'm speaking to God. When, he, when I read the Bible, he's speaking to me. He is. God is not far. Pojino. Where is God? Where is God? Some of you are still looking up. God is there and God is here at the same time. He's with me. Somebody say he's with me. That's why David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no good. Why? For thou art with me. You are with me. I know it. That is what it means to have faith. You are driving and you are sure God is here. They tell you your car is somersaulting. You are sure God is here. You are not looking for God. You are sure there is a resolute inside of you. There is a confidence inside of you. God is here. God is there. Say, Father, I know you are here. I see you daily. I know it. You are here with me in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise again for tonight. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, please bring your word to us in power. In Jesus' name we pray. Please have your seat like kings and queens in God's presence. Today is Deborah, Happy New Year. We are so glad to have you again. You celebrate God's grace in your life. After several... Okay. When is Valentine's Day? How many of you have Val already now? Don't be looking for Val. Be valuable. Don't be looking for Val. Be valuable. And when they put picture online, don't feel bad. There are people that are going to answer their prayers. They won't feel bad that day now. There are people to call. There are people to call that day. There are people that will call them. I know some of them. Last year, they don't have anybody to call. But this year now, they have some people to call. Glory to God. I won't look at any direction, so... But in case you don't have anybody to call, call on Jesus. He is, he is, he is, he is. He is there. Write him a love letter. Oh, my sweet Jesus. I love you. I, you know, I've been teaching on uh, opening of the heavens. And I started I think last week, upper week, right? Is it upper week or two weeks ago? Upper week. I was teaching on how to open the heavens via prayers. The way you are smiling, it looks like you have a valve. It's you, it's you. Men that open heavens are men of prayers. We journeyed with the scripture. Let me start from there again tonight. James chapter 5 verse 17 to 19. Men that open heavens are men of prayers. James 5 19. 
Hey, but let's read. Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. Wait, how many of you think that Elijah is special? Wait, raise up your hand. You think Elijah is, is not like me. He's a special breed. You think Elijah is not normal. Raise up your hand. Don't pretend, you know. You always think that Elijah is not a normal man. He doesn't go to the toilet. He doesn't wee wee. He doesn't eat. He doesn't. He's not normal. It's like they made him with a different raw material. Maybe they put, they use fire to make Elijah. The scripture says, Elijah is a man of like passion as we are. I like the fact that the Bible started with that. The Bible said that Elijah is like you and I. But there was something that made Elijah to be different is that Elijah, what did he do? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it did not rain on the earth. For how long? Three years and six months. Elijah is a man like me. Elijah is a man like you. But the only thing Elijah did that I'm not that Elijah is praying. You, you are playing. Elijah prays. The people that read about Elijah, they play. You see, Elijah prayed. But people today, they are playing. They are complaining. They are murmuring. But in the days of Elijah, even though Elijah is like you and I, Elijah was a man of prayer. Show me the next verse. Hey, but let's read. And he did what? He prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And the earth brought forth fruit. So, Elijah locked heaven, kept the key in his pocket. The question I have is that, was there no other prophet for three years? Elijah, you see, I don't want to talk about football. I don't want to remove the wound. I don't want to touch the wounds. As God is helping you, let God be helping you. If I open it again now, blood will start. Okay. Let, uh. Many of you have never prayed about great things, but you prayed about Nigeria. God, let Nigeria win. Let Nigeria win. If the energy you used to pray for Nigeria, you have used it to pray for certain results in your life, you would have seen results by now. Unfortunately, God doesn't play football. Can God be involved in football if it will advance his glory? Are you with me? If that football will advance his glory on earth, he will be involved. Because God is involved in everything that advances his glory on earth. And then guess what? God is involved in anything that concerns his children. Are you with me? Elijah prayed that there should be no rain. There was no rain. He prayed again. There was rain. So the issue is if there is no rain in my life, what should I do? I can't hear you. If things are tough, what should I do? If things are dry, what should I do? All through the scriptures, the men that make the men that made great impacts are men of prayers. The men that made the greatest impact in the scripture are men of prayers. And what I'm trying to bring you into tonight is that Eloma, Elosa, it is very simple. It is prayer. Like I told my church members yesterday that this year, the things I'm teaching are going to be funny. I'll be teaching... Currently, we are teaching on fasting in church. When we are done with fasting, I will teach how to pray. When we are done with praying, I will teach how to hear God. <laughs> because many of you, you know how to ascend, but you don't know anything. You know too many deep things. 
come on out to obey God's voice, you don't know. Many of us, we know, we know how to journey in the realm of the spirit. You know, those big, big grammar. But how to know is in my mind on God, you don't know. Is this the will of God? Many of us, and we are arrogant with our ignorance. So this year, we'll be going back to the basics, as simple as how to evangelize. How to pray. What are the types of prayers? I'm going to be teaching extensively on the types of, that might even take me like three months, the type of prayers. How to pray. How to do supplication. Now, if I ask you now, what is the difference between supplication and intercession? Apostle said, praying all prayers with all manner of prayers and supplication in the spirit. Which one is supplication? Which one is prayer? What is it? No. What is our faith? When do you use wherever two or three are gathered? When do you use if two officials agree? When do you declare in the name of Jesus? At what point is the name of Jesus your instrument? At what point do you introduce the blood of Jesus? If I say the blood of Jesus, now what do you say? All of you will respond. The blood of Jesus. Where did you learn it from? I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. At what point do you use, you know, the blood of Jesus is a weapon. When do you use it? At what point do you use scripture to pray? What is the, when do you introduce? If God says, this is it, can you change God's mind? What prayer did Moses pray on the mountain when God said he wanted to deliver, the, kill the people? And Moses said, God, and God said, I repent. At what point can you pray and God will repent? For the three days that, for the days that Daniel opened his window and was praying for twenty for thirty days, what was the prayer Daniel was praying? Some prayer of David looks like song. At what point do you pray those kind of? See, many of us we only say pray. If they ask you what kind of prayer, you don't know. And many of us, the only prayer we know is to pray in tongues. Do you agree with me that we need help? Answer me now. Do you agree that we need help? So, these are the things I'm going to be teaching this year. These simple things that you thought you know, that you did not actually know. Simple things. They are simple, yet we don't know them. If I ask you now, what about sacrifice? At what point does sacrifice work? And many of us will mix everything together. We don't. When should I introduce sacrifice? <laughs> you know, I I heard somebody's voice. In the spirit. And what the person said this. Lord, I think I need help now. <laughs> That's what the person said. The Lord, I think I need help now. Yes, you need help now. You need serious help. We all need help. Because we need to be able to master what God is saying. At what point do you quote scriptures to certain issues? At what point do you invoke mercy? 
You know they have told you that mercy is a powerful prayer, right? At what point do you switch to mercy? When do you introduce thanksgiving? If prayer doesn't work, try praise. You have heard that phrase. And the Bible says Elijah prayed seven times. That means persistent. At what point should I stop being persistent and enter into praise? <laughs> Is it getting clear to you now? You know, they, we say, be, stay there. Pray until something happens. Is that correct? And they say when prayer doesn't work, try praying. So at what point do you switch from? It's not working. If you stop praying, does it mean that you are not tenacious enough? When do you enter into praise? When do you bring in mercy? This year we will grow by force. In the name of Jesus. But today I want to address the issue of when to pray. Men that open the heavens, they pray. But when should I pray? Very simple. Let me ask you a question. When is prayer more powerful? Early in the morning? Midnight? During the day? Answer me. When is prayer more powerful? Who wants to talk to me? Huh? Midnight. Anybody? Anybody? When is prayer more powerful? 3 a.m. When is prayer more powerful? Anything after 12. When is prayer more powerful? How many of you miss a particular prayer time and you felt that you have wasted the day? Anything like that? You missed a particular prayer time. And you, ah! Okay. So I have 3 a.m. I have after 12 o'clock. I have midnight. No afternoon. No prize week in the afternoon, right? Eh? Is prayer weak in the afternoon? No. Does God answer prayer? So if they kidnap your friend now and they call you 2 p.m., you say, I will wait till 3. I will wait till 3. God hears prayer faster by 3 a.m. But let's, let's study. Number one. When should I pray? Seven times to pray. Seven times to pray. Number one, in the morning. Psalm 5 verse 3. In the morning. When should I pray? In the morning. Psalm 5 verse 3. Everybody, let's read. My voice shall thou hear when I can't hear you when Oh Lord What will happen in the morning? In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee And we look up When should I pray? So if you miss morning prayer I'm going to show you Today, when to pray. Show me Psalm 88, verse 13. Psalm 88, verse 13. When should I pray? Psalm 88, verse 13. Everybody, let's read. But unto thee have I cried, O Lord. Ah. When? In the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. When should I pray? In the morning. So how many of you have morning prayer schedules? Psalm 143 verse 8. Psalm 143 verse 8. Now, if you don't pray in the morning, you are not, you are not very serious. So you must have a daily morning prayer schedule. Start your day with God. Ever let's read. 
cause me to hear thy loving kindness when for indeed do I trust cause me to know the way wherein I should walk for I lift up in the morning you know the mind of God in the morning you know the agenda of God in the morning you know the plan of God in the morning in the morning Mark 1.35 Mark 1.35 Mark 1.35 in the morning everybody let's read I can't hear you this is Jesus this is Jesus this is Jesus want to go and in the morning rise up a great while before the day he went out and departed into a solitary place what did he do there pray so, day break by 6 o'clock. A great while before the day will be when? It will be around 4 o'clock. A while will be like 5. A great while will be like 4. You get it? Okay. I'm not saying she will be waking up by 4 every day. In the morning. So, is prayer powerful in the morning? I can't hear you. Number two, Psalm 88 verse 1. Number two, Psalm 88 verse 1. When should I pray? Everybody, let's read. Want to go? Start from, oh Lord. Leave the old story. Start from, oh Lord. Want to go? Let's read. Oh Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried to thee day and when should I pray? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So number two time to pray is day and night. What's number one time? In the morning. What's number two? Day and night. I have cried to thee day and night. Meaning, I will pray in the day. I will pray in the night. I have cried to thee day and night. Number three. Psalm 55 verse 17. When should I pray? Psalm 55 verse 17. When should I pray? Everybody, let's read. Wait, start again. Evening, morning, afternoon. We lie and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. When does he hear my voice? When? He hears me in the midnight. When does he hear my voice? When will he hear my voice? I can't hear you. When will he hear my voice? Anytime I pray. When? Evening, morning, afternoon. What's number one time to pray? What's number two? Day and night. What's number three? Evening, morning, afternoon. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Luke six twelve. Luke six twelve. When should I pray? Luke six twelve. Luke six twelve. When should I pray? Luke six twelve. When should I pray? Everybody, let's read. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into the mountain to pray. And continued in what? How many hours? That is why we come for 12 hours. All night. So let's start again. What's number one? What's number two? What's number three? Even only an afternoon. What's number four? By the time I'm done with this seven, you will tell me when to pray. You will tell me when to pray. By the time we are done, you will tell me when to pray. Number five, First Thessalonians five seventeen. First Thessalonians five seventeen. When should I pray? When, when, when? First Thessalonians five seventeen. When should I? Everybody, let's say, want to go? Oh! Check dictionary. What does season means? Help me, help me with dictionary. 
No. What did this say? What does it mean to? Everybody, let's read. Be unceasing and persistent in prayer. Show me TPT. Show me TPT. When you are done with TPT, you now show me message version. Do you have it? Ah, oh. Everybody, read this one. Make your life a prayer. Make your life a prayer. Meaning you no longer have. Okay. Make your life a prayer. So what's number one time to pray? What's number two time? What's number three time? What's number four? What's number five? Make my life a prayer. Okay. Okay. Number six. Ephesians 6.18. Ephesians 6, 18. Hmm. Ephesians 6, 18. Everybody, let's read. Ephesians 6. Ah. Let's read. One, two, go. Let's read. Pray. Wait, start again. Pray. When? Ah, praying always. Always means always and always. With what? All prayer. Meaning only shiri shi. All prayer. And supplication in spirit. Watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication. Praying always. <laughs> What's number one? In the morning. What's number two? What's number three? Evening, morning, and afternoon. What's number four? What's number five? What's number six? Always. And number seven. Hebrew 4.16. Pray in the time of need. Hebrew 4.16. Pray in the time of need. Hebrew 4.16. Everybody, let's read. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find help. When? Is there any time you don't have a need? Is there any time you don't need mercy? Is there any time you don't need grace? When should you come in the time of need, right? So, based on the four points I've touched today, when should you pray? When should you pray? When is the best time to pray? Eh? When is the best time to pray? Morning? Afternoon? Night? All night? In the time of need? When? The highest level is make your life a prayer. This one, you don't have time of prayer. You are the prayer emotion. As soon as you remember there is oxygen in your nostrils, what do you do? You pray. As soon as you remember I'm a man, what do you do? Pray. As soon as you remember you are sleeping, what do you do? Meaning you survive by prayers. Somebody is saying, Pastor, but praying at night is powerful. Yes! Jesus prayed at night. What makes night PG powerful? I will explain. Show me Psalm 50 verse 5. Psalm 50 verse 5. Show me that scripture. So we'll start from there. I want to explain why praying at night is powerful. It's not because the heaven. It's not... It's not because in heaven the prayer of the night is 15 bar or 15 points 
and the prayer of the afternoon is two point. No. That's not the reason. Why is prayer at night powerful? Everybody, let's read. Let's read. Want to go? Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me. By what? What makes prayer powerful is the sacrifice. What makes night VG powerful, I mean, is the sacrifice. Your mates are sleeping, but you are awake. It's not that God is the prayer of the night better than the prayer of the day. Are you with me? But there is a sacrifice element in praying at night. Is it making sense now? There are certain meetings that only sacrificial saints can enter. Gather my saints together to me. I've made covenant with me by what? Sacrifice. Meaning there are meetings that those saints who are not sacrificial cannot enter. There are certain meetings in the spirit that only saints who understand sacrifice enter. So that's why you see that covenant prayer we do every night. Even if, if I'm tired, I will still be there. I'm telling you, there are days I come from ministration after traveling. I am very weak. I will still pray. I will be there. It's better I'm praying, I'm sleeping, than I'm snoring on my bed. There must be a sacrifice. See, there are things you can't attain in the spirit until there is sacrifice on the table. That's why I said, make your bodies a living sacrifice. Be a sacrifice that is living. It is not easy to be in that place every night. There are days I am weak. I'm telling you. There are days I'm leading prayer. I'm closing my eyes. I will walk again. Eat my head. I'm, I'm, but I remain there. Because I understand God honors sacrifice. That was why he sacrificed Jesus. There are things you will not attain. If everything is easy. Except easy double. But this easy double too comes by sacrifice. Are you with me? That is why praying at night is, is a great treasure. You are fighting your nature. Normally men should sleep at night. Is that correct? But you are awake and they go by. Have you gone for prayer work and you are sleeping during prayer work before? And then you are almost entering the gutter. Has that happened to you before? You are walking. Then you will not say, Let me sit down small. Only for you to wake up after two hours. It is the mosquito of redemption camp that you slap that woke you up. Ah! You will think you have traveled for too long. There is Praying at night comes with so much sacrifice. That's why if you want to have the same result in the afternoon, with the result you will have at night, what you will do is that if you are going to pray and have that same result, you can't be doing that prayer and be doing Instagram at the same time. You can't be doing that prayer and be doing WhatsApp at the same time. There must be a sacrifice to stay away and remove your distractions away. And you are there. Lord, is you and I. Why is praying at night powerful? Distractions are less. I want to beg you. If you have not been joining the Kobun prayer, join. Ha! Ah, there is a grade that comes by sacrifice. There is a grade that comes by sacrifice. There is a grace. What God is marking is consistency. Can you stay with me for 365 days? Even when you are weak, he said, Lord, I am here. Can you mark attendance in the spirit? Those who are doing money ritual, if they tell them meet in the shrine 12 o'clock every day of the year, will they miss it? Answer me. Even the day they are weak, they will still be there. <sighs> you, you better. <laughs> oh 
my God. Be faithful. Is it going to be easy? It won't be easy. But be faithful. See, do you know what happens when you begin to meet with God like that? You will walk into realms. You won't know when you entered. You just realize that. Ah. When did Jesus pray about Lazarus? He got there. He said, Lazarus, comfort. He said, Father, I thank you because you have heard me. When did God hear him? God heard him before he came. He already prayed before he got there. So when he got there, he said, Father, thank you because you have heard me. Lazarus, comfort. Sometimes all those prayers you are doing, you are building, you are storing spiritual torrents in your bank, spiritual bank account. A day will come that all you need to do is a decree. All you need to do is a decree. So when, when they ask you to come for prayers or things like that, you will think you are wasting your time. Let me ask you again. When should I pray? When should I pray? If they ask you now, why is VG powerful? You know the answer, right? Let's check the Jesus model of prayer. How, how did Jesus pray? Okay. Show me Revelations 5.8. Let's check that before I go to Jesus' model of prayer. Revelations 5.8. There is something called prayer bank in heaven. Your prayers are not a waste. Everybody, let's read. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and 24 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them apps and golden vials full of odors. What are they? Which are what? Which are what? Don't think your prayer is a waste. There is a place it is being stored. The, there is a place it is being stored. The prayer of the saints are stored. So don't think the prayer you prayed is over. No. The prayer of the saints are stored. Never a waste. I prayed yesterday. Yes, it is stored. I prayed today. It is stored. I prayed two years ago. It is stored. A day will come, they will open that file. There are days. The day I had accident and I was traveling to Ondo and my car entered the bush and some sorted. I wasn't praying. But my car was somersaulting, I was just laughing. And when the car stopped somersaulting, I called everybody in the car. They thought they were dead. I said, Bro Joshua, Bro Joshua. He says, ah, ah, I thought I was dead. Though. He said, you can't die. Uh, Tony, he said, yes, sir. I broke the window. I said, People on the road, he said, Ikule Abiyamo, Ikule Abiyamo, hey, hey. We entered the bush, we somersaulted, and then, but we're fine. No bruises. I just came out of the, we came out, I said, let's take selfie. We all show the devil that is mad. He messed up with the wrong people. So we came out, we took selfie, we were fine, and then the one, my whole family was inside the car on the long bridge, and my car, my tire busted out on the, removed on the long bridge, and was going in front of me, and my car was doing, and I was swerving, swerving, and another car, a bike man was, and then the car stopped. Myself and my wife, and one of our church ministers were going to Lagos last week. The same thing happened. My car began to swerve. I didn't tell anybody. Some of them are hearing it for the first time. Where's my wife? She was, she knew what to do. She just kept quiet. Not even Jesus. Everybody kept quiet. There was 
control. I, we just, hey! I, was, I didn't talk. And when the car stopped, nobody said anything. We continued. Nobody said anything. We just continued. And we continued gisting. Nobody said a word. We just continued gisting. Do you know what happened? At that time, I can't begin to, hey, hey, because any prayer I pray is out of fear. God will now go to the prayer of the saints. Prayers that are stored. And then they will invoke the prayer of preservation. And then they bring it to that issue. You will think you are a celebrity. Actually, they, they, they brought out your spiritual file. Now, on the day of your battle, what, what if your file is empty? What if there was battle now? And Evil wanted because Evil cannot intervene until there is permission. Huh? You didn't hear me. Evil cannot intervene on your behalf until you give heaven permission. Why? God gave us the earth. He's in charge of the heavens. Are you here? So if God will intervene on your case, there must be a, a legal permission to act. So when there are certain troubles, they will quickly open your file to see, is there anything, a legal permit to operate on this issue? That's why we pray more in the Holy Ghost. So that the ones we don't know to pray, we pray it in the Spirit. So the Spirit can quickly keep storing it. Sometimes you are praying in tongues, you are praying for your marriage. You don't, you don't have an idea. Sometimes you are praying in tongues, you are praying for the day of your delivery. You say, Rengo But the prayer you are praying, that the Father Lord, on the day of my delivery, let Dr. Kokuma come to the hospital. Let nurse Kemi come to the hospital. Remove this nurse, no, this wicked nurse. Remove her. She must, not, she must not be on duty that day. Lord, this one, this wicked one, she must not come. This one, okay, bring her. Then let the baby come out by 12 o'clock. Then Lord, let the person that will pay the hospital bill, he will walk in and you don't know the prayer you are praying, but you are praying the prayer and everyone is storing them. On the day of your delivery, they will open that file. There are certain miracles that you experience and say, ah, just like that. He said, it happened just like that. Actually, it could be prayer of your parents. It could be the prayer you prayed on campus. It could be the prayer a prophet prayed over you when you were a baby. But there must be a legal grant to receive in the spirit. That's why every day I lay hands on my children and I speak over them. When they gave me Zion for the first time, the first thing I did that I can't forget is I say, on your wedding day is preserved. I began to speak about a marriage first day in my hand. I began to preserve our academics, preserve our marriage, preserve our health. I mean, as a baby, few seconds out of mother's womb, I began to speak about it. The same thing when Zoe came, I began to do the same thing. I understand that prayers are stored. She's not getting married tomorrow, but prayers have gone ahead. Is it making sense to you? Pray before I ever met my wife. I have prayed over her on campus. And then I kept praying. Oh God, if I want to marry the wrong person, if it's cut it, no relationship will work until I meet my wife. It won't work. Oh. Father, scatter it. I prayed in Yoruba five years. Oluwa, Tobaku, he said, you can't kill Shifa, Allah, Red Daru. Even though we have printed wedding IV and we have fixed wedding date, if she's the wrong person, Father, scatter it. I prayed that prayer till I got married. Even after I met her, I was still praying it. In case it's love that is blinding my eyes, scatter this thing. I said, Oh, me on it, big, we leg, me on it, big, I prayed that prayer till I got married until wedding night. I won't marry a wife 
father will turn me into a widower suddenly. No, no. Those were the prayers I was praying on campus. So I was in part one when I started praying because I understand that prayers are stored. I started praying, pray for my children. So, you see, when I look at some of my, my children, the way they behave, I'm not shocked. Prayers have gone ahead of them. And we are still praying. So every day I look at them, lay hands on Zion, uh, please speak over her, pray on, no, the other one speak over her, every day, every day. Because the prayer of yesterday is not enough. The one, one day, I was praying on campus. I was moving around quarters, I was going. And the Lord said, Daniel, do you know the blessings you are enjoying now is not the prayer you just prayed? I said, sir, it's enjoying now at the prayers you have prayed before. The prayer you are praying this morning is for years to come. I said, eh? He said, yes. So, I knew that my prayers are like spiritual insurance. Prayer is like going to insurance company to insure your properties. It might not be now. That's why I pray more eternal prayers. Pray more in tongues. Pray for the future. Speak into your future. Don't just be praying about now, 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 now. Are you blessed tonight? Our parents used to pray certain prayers, but you people don't value it. Ah, nearly Lord God, they be in power. Ah, ni shilete. Ah, ni tele ni be doji loju. How many of you had those prayers growing up? Well, but you don't pray those prayers now. You wonder your parents thirty years they were never kidnapped. 30 years they didn't have accidents. God just keep protecting them. They are not the best Christians, so but they are not they are not like you. Up, 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 up. They are not doing those, but God kept protecting them over the years. Have you just you know I'm saying they kept praying those prayers and sending it into the future? They kept praying. Start investing prayers into your future. Understand that prayers are stored. Pray for your business. You don't have a business. Start praying, Lord, I speak over my business in the name of Jesus. I'll be a multi-billionaire in dollars. I will never be broke. I will never be stranded. I speak over my ministry. I'll be a global voice in my generation. Oh, at the, at the at good old age, I won't have scandal. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Pray into the future. And you will see the answers in the future. Pray for your marriage. Valentine is coming. Don't feel lonely. Start praying for the person. Oh God, the man you have prepared for me, wherever he is, keep him. By the time he meets me, he won't be broke. Set to him. In case he's jobless now, give him a job. Let me make you laugh. One of the prayers I was praying on campus is that God should keep my wife, that no man will touch. Before she meets me, that God will, you know. I said, in case you want to do a mistake, Father, scatter it. Scatter. Pray for the health of my wife. Pray for the health of my children. Pray for my own health. I start, start praying prayers like, from 40, I won't start feeling arthritis. They say this one happens to people at certain age. Can you? You are not 40, but they told you they don't eat chicken after one age. You better... <coughs> you have to start speaking to the future. <laughs> they say it's uh, old age sickness. Can you start speaking about your own old age? Is that the G or not old? Is that the G or not old? Is Kenne Copeland not old? Is Gloria Copeland not old? I must see your own my daughter. Is, why is that, is that what you want? You don't see a man that is strong at 82. Baba Lord, when I died at 99, can you see how strong he is before he died? 
You do not see that one. You don't say, Mommy, I'm a big boy. Which one do you want? Say, I will be strong. I will. <laughs> that, that's, that's what we do. We speak into the future. Bible says, at 80, the strength of Moses was not abated. At 120, his eyes didn't go dim. He didn't use glasses. I know I won't use glasses. I know. I'm not saying if you're using glasses, something is wrong with you. That's not what I'm saying. I just told myself that I won't use glasses. How? Let me explain to you how, that, how I came to that conclusion. I went to Agege to buy... I was seven. I went to Agege to go out to buy something. And I saw an old woman. She came to buy that Bible. Tiny KJV Bible. You know that Bible? That, that black cover. Small one. And I was like, Mama, this Bible is too tiny. Why are you buying this tiny Bible? How old are you? She said, um, maybe 81 or 70 something. She said, but I can see clearer than even many young people. I said, ha, ah, this tiny Bible said yes. And I prayed for it. I said, pray for me that when I'm at your age, my eyes will be sharp like your eyes. She collected the money. She asked me to kneel down. And she prayed for me. I know that prayer has been stored. I know. I don't know the woman, but she prayed for me that day. I won't break down. This my body will not house cancer. This my body will not house diabetes. This my body will not house HIV. This my body will not house hepatitis B. This my body will not house any infirmity. This my body is healthy. This my body will carry the power of God to the nations. This my body will host the anointing of God and we will go to the nations together. This my body will be strong. I will be healthy as I'm doing God's work all over the world. What are you saying into the future? One more time, let me ask you, when is the best time to pray? Rise up on your feet. Just one prayer point as we close tonight. Father, I receive the prayer grace. The grace to be diligent and consistent in prayers. I receive it. I receive it. I receive the grace to be diligent and consistent in prayers. I receive it. 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 Grace to pray always, 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 always. Grace to pray always. Grace to pray always. I receive it. I receive it. Grace to pray always. Grace to pray always. I receive it. In Jesus' name we are praying. Son and man, pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the night. Pray all night. Pray always. Pray when you are in need. Make your life a prayer. Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you praise for this good word. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. My Father, please release upon us the prayer grace. Help us to be focused in prayers. Help us to be diligent in prayers. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' day we are praying. You are here tonight. You want to say, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I'm struggling with a sin. Wherever you are, can you lift up your hands? I want to pray with you. Lift up your hand. Anybody like that in church today? Yes. Thank you, my brother. Please rise up on your feet. Please come. Come. You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Please come. Please come. Please come. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. 
please come into my heart, save my soul, deliver me from the power of darkness, and I will never go back to the world. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Please follow this brother over here. You will be back to your seat. Ushers, please pass around the offering basket. The account number is 00 700 Envoice Special Program, Premium Trust Bank. Envoice Special Program, Premium Trust Bank. 00 400 718 48